Let's dive into these, these growth hacks or these steps right now. Now, the first Twitter growth hack is to pick three main content buckets. So for me, what that is right now, and this could change you know, over time depending on data and depending on what my audience says, but the main three content buckets I have on Twitter are content creation, email marketing, and digital products. So these three things, this is the main three topics, everything that I tweet about on Twitter is going to be about these three content buckets, digital products, email marketing, and content creation. So this just makes it a lot easier where you're not going onto Twitter and you're not just guessing about what to write about. Everything that I tweet about and every all the content that I post on Twitter is gonna be about those three content buckets. So that's the first thing is to pick your three content buckets. Second thing is to post three to five times daily or tweet three to five times daily. And this could be how to information, it could be value, it could be insights, it could be lessons, it could be mistakes that, common mistakes that your market is making. It could be quotes or concepts that resonate with you and also relate to your content buckets. And really you just want to be posting consistently every day and it doesn't always need to be some kind of brain gasm. It doesn't always need to be like the, the number one piece of content that you're gonna put out. The main thing is you wanna be consistent, you wanna share your thoughts and ideas and when you do this consistently, People are gonna not only see you a lot more, but you're gonna have at least, let's say you post a hundred tweets, at least one of those is gonna get traction more than the others. And then you know from there, it's like, okay, this topic got traction. I can talk more about this. I can dive deeper into this topic. So when you tweet three to five times daily, you are giving yourself enough time and enough data points to know which topics are resonating and which ones you can go deeper on and which ones you can just you know ditch and not talk about anymore if it's not getting any traction. I also use a tool like Hype Theory to save me a lot of time and it helps me to schedule out my tweets. So I don't have to worry about sitting down every day and just thinking from scratch what to actually write about. Sometimes I'll use this tool Hype Theory to schedule out an entire week in advance so I don't have to think about what to write about each day. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll drop a link to Hype Theory below in the description and that's really gonna save you a ton of time with scheduling out your tweets and helping you stay consistent. Now, number three, the third Twitter growth hack is to make categorized lists of different industries and different areas that you want to learn more about. So some of the lists that I have are for writers, tech founders, there are email marketers, personal finance people, investors, content creators. I have different lists for different categories and different industries. And this these lists make it easy for me to filter out only the information that I wanna see. And I have it categorized based on the different industry or the different expertise area. Twitter growth hack number four is to create a tweet storm once a week. And this is super powerful if you can be consistent with this. So Twitter has a 280 character limit per tweet. And tweet storms, what it is, it's basically a long article and you're just breaking it up tweet by tweet and it's all within one thread. So let's just say that you wanna create a tweet storm, the 11 best subject line formulas for e-commerce brands. So you might create one tweet, you reply to that tweet with subject line formula number one, you apply to that with subject line formula number two, and so on and so forth for 11 or 12 tweets. At the end of that tweet storm, you can link to your website, you can link to a product, you can link to book a call. And all this really is, is you are creating a thread of a topic or an idea. It's usually how to posts. I'll throw one up on the screen here, an example that I wrote a couple weeks ago that did pretty well. And this is around creating your own paid email challenge. So you can see here, I went step by step, tweet by tweet through creating your own paid email challenge. And at the end of that, I told them, hey, if you wanna learn more about this, join my email list. I actually had a couple people reach out to me who want me to help them with creating this for themselves. So I have potential coaching clients right there for, from this tweet storm. So this is great to build your list. It's great to get exposure on your profile. If you get one of these that goes off, that, that does well, it can attract a lot of people, a lot of eyeballs to your profile. And when you create one of these, if, if someone likes what you're posting, there's a good chance they're gonna go to your profile and check out all the other content that you're posting. And if you have other tweet storms there, they're gonna go down the rabbit hole with all of your content. So one of these a week, very powerful if you can stay consistent with this over time. And all you're really doing here is just diving deeper into one of your content buckets and expanding upon that in a multiple tweet thread. That's what a tweet term is. Twitter growth hack number five is to engage with people every day, three to five times per day. And what does engagement mean? Well, liking, commenting, retweeting, just engaging with other people and showing an interest in other people. So what I recommend you do is make a list, a Twitter list, a categorized list of people who have anywhere from, let's say two to 300 followers to 2000 followers. Make a list of these people, make a list of 30 to 50 of these people. And every day, 
look in that list and like, comment, and retweet people that you resonate with. And if you're commenting on people's threads, make sure you're saying something more than just good tweet or good thought. Add something to the conversation, add some value, add your own input. Don't disagree with them, right? We don't. We wanna make friends here, we don't wanna make enemies. But engage with them and provide thoughtful conversation or you're actually adding something to the conversation. So if you, want to, if you want people to take an interest in you, especially if you're brand new, you need to take an interest in them. And that means engaging with them and liking and commenting and retweeting anything that you resonate with and making this a habit every day. So engaging with people, and you can even do this through DMs too, messaging people and don't pitch them. Just say, hey, thanks for following me or thanks for posting this. I really resonated with this. That's how you connect with people. And that is how you grow your Twitter following. That's how you grow an audience is actually engaging with people and being a real human being. Twitter growth hack number six is to spend time learning every day. So at least one to two hours every day, you should be learning new things and new skills and new ideas and insights. There needs to be a constant flow of new ideas flowing into your brain and new knowledge flowing into your brain. There's no excuse for you not to be learning new things every day. And learning new things is how you are gonna be able to create new content, create new products, throw new ideas out there, come up with new ideas. You need to be learning every day. So what do I mean by learning every day? Well, you wanna follow smart people, watch interviews, listen to podcasts, read books from smart people who are where you wanna be and just make it a habit to pick up new skills. It doesn't always need to be in business. It can be in other things. Just learning from different industries and different smart people and using that to increase the amount of knowledge that you have and the amount of ideas and insights that you have that you can share with your market on Twitter, right? So as you have this system for learning new things, you're gonna also have a way to share new content because you're gonna have this constant flow of new information and new knowledge coming in. And through that, you're gonna have all these new ideas that you can create content around. The seventh Twitter growth hack is to build in public. And I've talked about this a few times now, right? Building in public, building your business in public and sharing every step and not just the highlights, right? Everyone's always like trying to share their highlights. They think they can only share the top, top moments. Oh, look how much money I made. Look at these new cars I bought. Look at this new house that I rented. That's not all you have to share. You can share the low lights, the mistakes, the things that didn't go wrong. And that's what's actually gonna help you bond more and connect better with your audience because no one is perfect. And if you put out this, this picture that you're always right and you're only posting your highlights, people don't connect with that. So don't be afraid to document your journey. Don't be afraid to share what's working and what's not working and things that you're trying out, right? As you're going along and testing things, you're building in public and you're sharing each step that you're taking. And this is gonna help you build that audience because people are gonna be watching you. They're seeing you actually improve every day. And again, you don't have to just post your highlights because people wanna see the journey. They wanna see the steps that you're taking to improve yourself. And they also connect better. People connect better with people who aren't just perfect all the time. So build in public. This is one of the most powerful things you can do and share your work. This is gonna help build the bond with you and your audience. Now the eighth Twitter growth hack is to join an accountability group of other people who are gonna help you grow on Twitter where everyone's growing together. So I just got out of this program called Ship 30 for 30. And what this program is, it helps you to develop a writing habit and they focus on Twitter. So every day we post something called an atomic essay. And an atomic essay is a 250 word essay or article, a short article on whatever topic that you want. And every day you're posting it to Twitter and you have this group, there was 250 or so people in this group and we're all engaging with each other's essays. We're growing together. We're engaging with everyone's posts. And this is a great way to stay accountable, develop a, a writing habit of publishing daily and building your audience and also getting in the habit of engaging with other people and responding to other people and thinking of things, having new ideas and new insights and reading things on Twitter and using that to learn more and process more and, and create better content. So 